fire Maca I wanna see her dressed She gave me that temptation They try to see me dead I gave them that dedication I'm starting on day five hair. My hair is pretty dry. I'm gonna section it into four sections, leaving one section free because that's the section I'm gonna start working on first. Within each section, I thoroughly go through and add oil to each piece. The oils I use is in my little container. It's olive oil and avocado oil. As you guys can see, I'm really trying to get in there with this oil. I go into every single strand. I'm not necessarily detangling, but I am trying to get the oil on every piece. Once I'm done applying oil, I put on a shower cap and let that sit for about 45 minutes to an hour. After letting the oil sit on my hair for about 45 minutes, I then go ahead and shampoo my hair and then condition. The shampoo I use is the OGX Anti-Breakage and the conditioner is Shea Moisture and it's for low porosity hair. When I plan to straighten my hair, I dry my hair with a towel, but you guys know that when I wear my hair curly, I always use a shirt to dry my hair. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Dove heat protectant. Then again, I section my hair into fours and leaving one free so that I can start working on that section. Now I'm adding a little bit of leave-in conditioner. Not too much because I don't want my hair to be stiff when I straighten it.
While adding my leave-in, I do a little bit more of detangling. Then I go in with the comb to comb out any tangles that I may have so that my blow dry will be easier. I always use a wide tooth comb when I'm detangling my hair, if I ever use a comb. I usually just use my fingers, but since I'm gonna be straightening my hair, I have to get every single knot out. After getting all the little kinks out, I then twist my hair so that it can stay detangled. After I'm done detangling, I then get one of the four sections and turn it into two sections. I start blow drying with the comb first because the bristles are wider, but then I go in with a paddle brush because I need my blow dry to get as, I need my hair to be as straight as possible after blow drying because the better your hair is, or the straighter your hair is after a blow dry, the easier it will be to straighten your hair. And
After blow drying, I apply another heat protectant, my Tresemme Thermal Creations. I think it's better safe than sorry, especially when it comes to heat damage. Now it's time to straighten my hair. It really depends on the day how I want to section my hair off. Today I decided to do um, two sections. It's up to you. It doesn't really matter how you section off your hair. So here I just put my hair up at the top and then the back I believe I put it in two separate sections. Clipped one section up and then worked on the other side. When it comes to me straightening my hair, I don't like to go over my hair more than once at the end. The roots I'll go in like one, maybe two times, but the ends, no. I can't do that. And I also use the chasing method with a bristled brush. You can also do the chasing method with a rat tail comb or a comb with very close uh, teeth. But I feel I get a better um, straight, a better straight look when I use a bristled brush. So I'm going to show you guys a couple more times slowly and I want you guys to notice um, that yes yeah, sometimes I go over the roots a few times but I don't go over the rest of my hair more than once and when I do finally put the flat iron into my hair I'm flat ironing really slow. You don't have to go so fast and when you go fast that's when you might have to go over it again. I go really slow, not too slow to burn my hair, but just enough to get the heat, you know, penetrated into the hair. <laughs> Don't take big sections. The smaller the sections, the more thorough you'll be.
Here is the finished look. I hope you guys liked the video and I'll see you on the next one. Oop, need to fix my camera. There we go. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>